What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back to another rant in Autica. I am out here today. It's cold. It's, dr- it's dreary. It's a cloudy day. It's, and I'm at a huge, huge forest. Um, I'm going to be moving around a bit today, though. I want to see what we can find. Uh, but I, I'm looking forward to getting into this. I am definitely looking forward to getting into this today. So uh, let's not delay. Let's roll that intro. Start today's Rant Nautica. All right, guys, so I got my makeshift tripod again because I forgot my actual tripod at home and I don't feel like putting it up on my dashboard. I don't know, just, just I just don't feel like it. I don't, I don't have a reason why. Anyways, we're gonna get into it. Guys, welcome back to Ran and Nautic. And if you're new here, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button. And my returning subscribers, my cursed crew, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, hit that share button, and leave me a comment today. Leave me a comment saying, I don't know, hashtag Rananautica is cool <laughs> or something. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody write hashtag Rananautica is cool in the comments. I, I don't know a better one, a better one to put. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, it's the lamest thing I could think of. Anyways, so we're out here today. I have some new locations to, uh, to uh, give, us, uh, give us a chance at. Um, guys, I want to say, I want to give you a shout out and say, I appreciate all your input on the last video. Uh, you guys really gave me a lot to work with, a lot to think about in terms of what's going on and what these stalkers could want and who could be behind this. So you guys gave me some really incredible insight and like some stuff that I legit would have not thought of by myself. So Keep those suggestions coming, keep those theories coming, because I'm sure we're going to figure it out uh, together one of these days. So yeah, I, I appreciate that, guys. Like, like seriously, you guys came up with a lot of good stuff. When I was reading it, some of it, I was just like, oh, holy, like, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So uh, keep it coming. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, today we're doing some random nautica, as per usual, and... Uh, Guys, if you're unfamiliar with Rananautica, I'll give you a little rundown. Rananautica is an app that leads you to a location, and at that location, you are supposed to find what you were looking for. You could be looking for, you know, a buried treasure, or you could be looking for, you know, a cool place like a waterfall, or you could be looking for, I don't know, a place to camp or something like that. What you do is you open the app, you think about what you'd like to see, um, and you press generate, and it generates, you're supposed to focus on what you want, which is called an intent. And uh, after that, it, it spits out a point, you bring that onto Google Maps, and then you are supposed to go to that point in real life and see what it is there. Of course, we use this app to find scary stuff, to find, uh, to f- to find like weird stuff, you know. Um, we've gotten a whole, whole bunch of stuff. We got some collectibles before. Uh, I found I found money before, and we found some stuff that we haven't wanted to find before, like uh, like guns and weapons. Um, yeah, like we f- we found crazy crazy stuff doing random nautica. Uh, so we're back here again. We're doing it today, and what we do is I take intense suggestions from the channel. For so I'm going to the last video I put up, and I'm going to find some intense suggestions from the viewers. And uh, we'll see what we find. We'll see what we uh, we find, what people have suggested. Um, I try and do a variation of new new, uh, new people I've never done intense from, and some of our returning subscribers. I try and mix it up as best as I can. So if you if you want me to do one of your intents, make sure to always leave a comment with intents. Um, that way I'll, I'll see it for sure at, at some point or another. Um, so I'm gonna try and find somebody new that I uh, 
haven't done before. Let's see, I'm looking right now. I don't think I've done this person. Yeah, I don't think I've done this person. Yeah, okay, this is their uh this is their first comment actually. Um so we're gonna do yours. Uh your name on here is Crocheting Glamma, I think. I don't know how to pronounce that. If I pronounce it wrong, deepest apologies. Crocheting Glamma, we are gonna do your intent of uh Let's do, uh, you got some good ones. I don't want to start off with anything, like, too heavy. Oh, from Sydney, Australia. Awesome. Awesome. We got a few Australian people on here. If you're, if you're from Australia, let me know in the comments. Um, because I, th I think, I think two of, like, the, con the two of the countries with the most viewers outside the U.S. and Canada are Australia and the U.K. Oh, I should... Like different parts of the UK. I know that I know the UK isn't a country itself. I'm just kind of I'm just using that as more of like a region from Australia and the UK area. Don't don't kill me because I know that would probably make a lot of people very angry. <laughs> so I'm sorry, UK area. Um, all right, we're gonna do uh, hidden in plain sight. I've done that one before. I've gotten interesting results with it, and I want to try it again. So thank you very much, crocheting glamma for those intents uh hidden in plain sight let's do that one that is that is one that i like to do whenever it pops up i'm always like oh yeah i should do that no not every time but sometimes uh, all right let me find I'm waiting for randonautica to focus on my spot since i just started it up all right we're good uh hidden in plain sight dude i think it's snowing out here i just saw like some white specks coming down and I can hear it, like, all around me. I, th I think it's snowing. This is dumb. I hate the snow. And I hate living in Illinois. But you know what I like? I like all, I like all my, my viewers. I'm appreciative for you. I'm trying not to be so negative. You know, it's, easier to, it's easy to say, I hate this, I hate that. But there's some things I like. I like, I like my viewers. You guys are awesome. Yeah, that's snow. That's snow for sure. Ugh. Great. I guess it's better than rain. You know, at least my camera will be alright. But yeah, that was definitely snow. It just went right in front of my face. Anyways, we got a point. It's in those woods. So, let's saddle up and go out there. So this was pretty cool. This actually led me out to this very interesting area because I parked I parked up that way and then and then I came down down this way and uh, yeah kind of spit me out into this opening and it's 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 like I don't know what this is it's like some weird place because like I, I went through the forest and then it spit me out onto this, onto this path, and I've been walking this path for a little ways, and, uh, yeah, but it, like, um, as you guys can see, like, there's, there's where I came through, that forest over there, that's what was, like, kind of behind the car, and then, uh, yeah, I came down here, and I found this path, and, the intent actually is right around here. It's, it's kind of a good area for intent, honestly. And this is cool. I don't know what this is for. It looks like it looks like this used to maybe be like some sort of like campsite campground, and it's kind of abandoned now. Like it's in really really bad shape. And these wires are hanging everywhere. So I think this is like a bridge. Maybe they connected over there. But our our point our point is like kind of right in the middle of this area. So um yeah. Let's look around, see if we can't find anything.
Yeah, here's the other one. Yeah, yeah. So as you can see, it connects like this bridge. Ooh. That's why it looks so weird. I had my, had my frame rate all jacked up. So yeah, that's why it looks so weird. Uh, oh, what am I thinking? Sorry, I'm getting myself confused. So yeah, this looks like a bridge. Like it used to be like a little rope bridge or something, but they, but it, has, it hasn't been used in a long time. So yeah, I wonder if this area is abandoned. I wonder if, you know, they were, like there was something cool here, like maybe a camp. And yeah, but like, you can see like this path is still used. Like you can tell people walk on it because it's still somewhat clear. Um, but yeah, it's really weird to find this in the woods. So this definitely goes back a lot further than I thought. Anyways, getting off subject, our point is literally right here on the map. So let's see, let's take a look around. Let's take a look around. And, uh, see if we can't find anything. Take a look under here. Uh, sorry if the wind's picking up, guys. I got my microphone with me, but it's back in the car, so I'll definitely be using that on the next one. Oh wait, we got something. See that? Do you see that? It's like buried in the ground. I don't know what that is. I don't think I should touch it. <laughs> I don't know what that is, like some weird rubber cap. It looks like it looks like maybe it was for a vape pen or something. I don't know. I don't think. Uh, maybe this area. Maybe this area was supposed to be our intent because our intent was hidden in plain sight. And this is like some abandoned area right off of a trail. So it very well like could be hidden in plain sight. Like this area is just, you know, hidden in plain sight. Like that's an area that nobody uses anymore. But yeah, it's still like, it's still here. So let's investigate a little bit since we're out here. It's not often that random nautical leads us to abandoned stuff. Then again, I don't really search for abandoned stuff. Yeah, here's like a bench over here. Oh, then look at this over here. Check this out. Yeah, see this path keeps going. This path I was on keeps going way into the woods. Way into the woods. And I couldn't really see that on Google Maps because uh, the image, all the trees were grown over then. <laughs> there's, there's all these cables running around here. And it looks like this, yeah, it looks like this whole thing was like some type of, uh, some type of, uh, I don't wanna, like, I don't know, forest, like camp, adventure park type thing. Yeah, and I am not gonna stand on that. I do not have the greatest sense of balance in holding the camera and getting on that. Cause I got, I got big mama today. I got my big boy camera out. If I had my action cam, I wouldn't care. I'd jump up on it. But if I drop this thing, it's gonna be no good. So yeah, okay. So it looks like some sort of like balance thing. And it looks like, okay, yeah, that's what it is. Like look up there. It's like, it's like for a harness right there. So it looks like maybe you get harnessed in and you walk across like these, uh, these different like tightrope type things. They're up there too. Maybe they had more of these set up or like different, different things like that. So maybe this was for climbing. Like you climbed up this somehow. I don't know. I don't know, this is kind of cool. This is a kind of cool find. Yeah, hidden in plain sight. Like, yeah, this is definitely hidden in plain sight. Yeah, this is this is pretty dope. Kind of makes me wonder what's what's like if we keep going down this path. Uh, what's down there? And I really want to set another intention and go down that way, but kind of worried because 
It's getting even colder out now. I know the wind's picking up, so the audio might be getting distorted for you guys. And if it pulls me way down that way, like I left my coat in the car, like I always do, and my microphone, and it keeps pulling me down that way, you know, and I keep getting cold and uh, everything like that, and the, wind, and the wind keeps ruining my audio. It might kind of suck if, you know, I go on, if I'm walking like 20 minutes, and all you guys hear is, and then I'm freezing. So, I'm not going to set another intent right now, but I'm definitely going to come back out here. This place is, looks like it could be kind of sick. So, it's just buried way back in this forest. Like, it's kind of weird. But cool. Well, really cool. Anyways. Let's see. Uh, so, we checked that. We'll check, uh, we'll check this other platform over here see if we got anything oh wait we got something I almost missed this and I saw this tree trunk too when I walked up here I saw that tree trunk and that was like one of the first things I thought I was like I gotta check that and I almost walked right by it because I got distracted with all this other stuff here Nutcracker, nutcracker ornament maybe, or toy? Its mouth doesn't open like in traditional nutcracker style, but 119, weird. I wonder if that's a date or a price tag, like 119, January 19th. I wonder if that's a date or a price tag. Weird, because it could be either. Hidden in plain sight. It's hidden right here in plain sight as I walked up to it. I don't see anything else that's like, you know, out of place on this thing at all. Seems kind of, you know, seems normal. I think I'm breaking it. I don't think, I don't think it's arms. Maybe it's arms are. Yeah, it's arms are supposed to turn. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> You hear that? You guys hear that? I'm like, oh yeah, it's arms are supposed to turn. It's like, <laughs> it's like cracking. It's like, <laughs> oh yeah, sorry man. Yeah, your arms aren't supposed to go that way. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, uh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Nutcracker. <laughs> but it looks like his arms are supposed to do that. Oh man, okay, so we found a nutcracker and we found this cool area. This is dope and like I said, I really want to know what's further down this trail. Um, there's an opening over there too, so I don't know, I gotta check it out on Google Maps. But anyways, cool finds, I'm gonna head back to the car and uh, we'll, uh, we'll set another intent. But yeah, alright, good start, good start. This is cool. I'm glad we found this area too. This is awesome. This is almost as cool as that uh, that park that I found those uh, abandoned uh, military bunkers at. We're gonna go back to that one soon too, guys. Don't worry. I definitely am gonna do, like I said, I definitely am gonna do a ran nautica there, just in that park. Got anything else? It doesn't seem like anything else. It's just. Dude, I'm starting to be able not to feel my hands. All right, I probably should go back, get warmed up a little bit, and set another intent. All right, guys, so I am back. As you can see, it is progressing into the night a little bit. Uh, it is cold out, it is snowing, and I am very unhappy. But, rain and autica must go on. Uh, we, because we are out here, rain, snow, or shine. Um, but yeah, I took a little break, uh, got some lunch, and I was like, oh, I'll resume Randonautica right after I get lunch. That didn't happen. One of my buddies called me up. He's like, hey, where are you at? And I told him, I was like, oh, I'm out here doing Randonautica. He's like, oh, dope. I'm 20 minutes away running something for business. And I was like, oh, let's meet up. So we met up, hung out with him, and the rest is history. <laughs> so I just wasted. No, I didn't waste. I had a good time with my friends. But I wasted like four hours of the day 
just hanging out and BSing instead of doing Grand Nautica. And then I realized, I realized that and I was like, oh, I better go before it gets too dark out. And lo and behold, it's already super, super dark out. So, there's nothing that can be done about that. We're still gonna run some intentions no matter what time it is. So, uh, let me set another intention. I gotta bring it back up here. Uh, okay. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Dude, it is cold out. It is cold out. And I just shaved my head today, so my stocking cap isn't fitting on it. It just slides up. It's really annoying. Somebody suggested to me to, uh, to put hot glue in it so it, like, sticks to my head. I'm going to try that tonight as soon as I get home, and I will let you know if it worked or not. Uh, but yeah, it's really annoying. Oh, and I give a shout out again to Crochet and Glamour. Thank you for that last intent, finding us that uh, uh, nutcracker and that crazy obstacle course thing. That abandoned obstacle course. That was cool. All right, I'm looking for somebody's intent right now because I saw somebody. Let's see. All right, here's a brand new one. Another one just like Crocheting Glamour. Uh, Jenna Roland, uh, new subscriber, Intense Ideas, uh, Cult's Purpose, Heavenly Images, Trigger Warnings, and Burn Bridges. We're going to do Burn Bridges. I really like that. See if I can give you a shout out with this bright light. Yes, I can. There you are. Thank you very much for your intent intention ideas. We're going to run Burned Bridges. See what we get. Burned bridges. Burned bridges. Oh, and guys, if you haven't noticed, actually, I'm at a very weird angle. That's because I have this weird contraption on my camera right now. All right, we got one. Um, we got. I got this weird contraption on my camera right now. I'm actually going to see if it shows up in my phone so I can show it to you. It does not. Um... But it's like, it's like this dual mount for the light and the microphone because it's windy out so I have to have the microphone. It's also dark out so I have to have the light. And it's a very, very annoying setup because this thing is so top heavy now. Like trying to hold it is just like ugh. That's why it's so weird. I try to set it up uh, to like see me and it just, the camera just wanted to fall over. And I was like, oh, well that's the last thing I need is a camera to fall onto the floor of my car. Uh, and break. So yes, this is why it looks odd right now. And I'm probably not going to be do, be able to do a lot of vlog style stuff because the thing is just like, I just add like two pounds out of the camera. And you guys, you, the people, you guys who watch like my channel a lot, like, you know, I'm always complaining about the weight of my camera. So like an extra two pounds just sucks. Anyways, I can quit complaining. I'm going to run a great intention. I'm going to see what we get. All right, we're in some some dense woods, guys. As you can see, snow's coming down pretty good. I mean, it's not like it's going to accumulate, but it's definitely making things spooky out here. But one good thing is the wind died down, so thankfully. I don't have to have the weird contraption on top of my camera. I just have my light. Path splits here. Gotta check my Check my map. Oh, actually, we're almost right to the point. It's right in here. Cool. So, this is one of the more creepy spots that we've been to. What do you guys think? 
Thankfully, dude, I'd be freaking out right now if there wasn't traffic. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm actually really glad there's cars passing by every now and then. Because otherwise, this would suck <laughs> being out here. All right, who do we got? We got the uh, pink Red Bull can, okay. So the intent was uh, burn bridges, I believe. We just got some random trash around here, mainly. Yeah, I'm not seeing too much. Burned bridges. It was interesting because when I first came in this area, I thought these, these seed pods were like burned sticks. <laughs> there is something burning though, for sure, but it smells like just a fire, not close or anything. Just like somebody, you know, burning wood, having a fire fireplace maybe yeah it's that it's that nice smell it smells like winter I'm not seeing anything out here though let's check up here oh there's something yeah this looks like a bait cup like a uh, like somebody, somebody was fishing out here. You, you know what I can't believe right now? Look at this, guys. Look how much like green plant life is still around. It should be dead by this time of year. All of it, but there's so much green plant life here. Check by the shore, We're right by a river. Sometimes, sometimes we find things right by the shore. I think I see something. No, it's a leaf. I think. Yeah, just trash everywhere. Bur dude, burn bridges. Isn't really bringing this too much. Just trash. In a creepy area, dude. For real. Straight up creepy area. There's something. What's that? Oh, it's a. Uh, it's a book. I think. Or some type of cardboard thing. I can see it's really thick. Yeah, it's a book. Get this camera dialed in. If I owned the moon. My hands are so cold I can't even get these pages apart. If I owned the moon, you know what I'd do? Oh, it looks like somebody drew on it. I take him right down and I give him to you. Like okay, somebody drew on the moon again. And again, I see it right here. Maybe you take him along for a ride. This is coming this is a recurring theme now. Maybe you'd carry him down a big slide. Maybe sometime. We would sit down to tea, you all my love, the moon and me. You are hated. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. You are hated, because you can see it says you are loved. OK. 
okay it's really weird I don't know what it's doing out here but uh yeah huh okay well one intention down or another intention down I should say and uh I don't know dude that was oh man so bright that was that was creepy that was creepy okay so what do we want to do okay so I'm trying to think like if I want to stay in this super creepy forest and set another intention because let's be real it'd be kind of cool or if I should leave and go back to the car and set another intention there. Wait a second, dude. I just heard... Dude, I just heard something. Dude, did you guys... Yo, there's, so, there's something over there for sure. I thought I heard something. That was loud. Hello? Dude, that was loud. You guys had to have heard that. It sounds like somebody's walking through here. Dude, I, th I, I thought I heard something like small. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just the wind because it makes all the tree branches like this. And then I just heard something big snap. Hello? There's someone out here? <laughs> Yo, dude, who is that? Dude, who are you? That's a person, man. That's a person. Try to back up out of here slow. I don't want to have my back to this guy. I think we're good. I'm back safely in my car and away from that area and I don't even know what to think right now like that was somebody I've never seen before so either one of the stalkers broke their mask and had to find a replacement in a hurry or two we're dealing with somebody we have never dealt with before I saw they had like a, a a Chucky mask on, like a like a, a child's play Chucky. It didn't look very good. <laughs> it looked like a like a mask made out of like a plastic plate or something. So I don't know. It's, it's really weird that they just went and hit the uh, hit the dollar store to find something real quick. Or, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I literally don't know what to think about that. It was the weirdest thing, too, because I walk out. I find that intent. I walk out, and then, bam, there's just somebody's face. Like, it, it, I, dude, I don't know. It was really, really weird. And I'm debating right now whether to set another intent or not, or just call it a night, because... It, it, that's another thing that's weird is we usually get like we usually get stalkers showing up on the third and ten 
it's almost like clockwork now. Like, third and ten comes, we expect a stalker or something crazy to happen. Why it's always a third and ten, I don't know. Sometimes it doesn't happen, but most of like, by and large, yeah. But we're only on the second and ten, we're already getting people showing up. So it's, it makes me wonder, like, are they just, are they just being more aggressive now, or is there something I'm missing? You know, whatever. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set another intent. I'm gonna do it. It might not be a good idea. It might be a very, very bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. For some reason, I feel like we're close to some answers. I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know if that's true or not, but I, I that's how I feel. Like after the last Randonautica we did, the last uh, video I put out, and now these stalkers get more aggressive. Uh, it seems like we're finding out more stuff. Like, it feels like I just need to push forward and keep asking questions and running in tents. I don't know. I, but I am going to do a third one. I know it's probably stupid, but whatever. You know, that's, you know, we don't, we don't do, we aren't smart here on Cursed Urban. We're dumb. So, I mean, let's be, let's be, let's be honest. Smart isn't entertaining either. Okay, uh, let's do, okay, okay, I found one. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do XXXE, or maybe it's just XE, I don't know, but the name on here is XXXE, so big shout out to them. Appreciate you for leaving this intent focus camera. Yeah, big shout out to you for leaving this intent. Thank you very much. Or these intents, you left a you dude, you left a lot of good intents. You left a lot of good intents. And also, I read your theory, and uh, it makes a lot of sense. Actually, it makes a lot of sense. Um, about winter and summer and like why they're choosing different things um, they think XE thinks that the stalkers are choosing like winter to become more active the cult and stuff because it's it could be like it's easier to run in summer versus winter because with cold air it's hard to breathe so the cult moves pretty slow that's one thing that we've kind of determined is a cult is a bunch of slow has a bunch of slow moving members. So I'd fit in perfectly in the cult. But um so I'm guessing that's why XC thinks like I hope my hope XC is, is good with you. <laughs> Cause it's easier to say. Um that um since the cult moves slow, it's better for their supposed victims to move slow as well so maybe that's true all right uh but yeah there's a lot of good intents um okay deathly wonders hide and seek were they doing harm subtle winters funky symbols uselessly important i like that one i really like that one we might be doing that fun place unhinged moments chaotic chase uh, there was that one, and then the other one I saw was Creepy Smiles, just because of the stalker we saw right now. But, uh, let's do Uselessly Important. I, that was, that's a good one. That's a good one. Very nice work on that. I, I love, I love these intents. Keep them coming. Keep them coming, for sure. Alright, let's hit it. Uselessly Important. Uselessly Important. Uselessly Important important what do we got what do we got all right we got one once again it's in a sketchy area that i don't like but uh let's let's do it what's the worst that could happen never mind i'm not going to answer that 
Okay, so I just pulled up to this place. And it's actually closed. So I'm just gonna walk around. Yo, the point's right over there. But we already found these. Unnecessarily important, I think, was the intention. This fits the description, a pair of safety glasses. It's something you need, or you don't need, until the time that you do. The point's right over here, though. Bro, I'm hearing stuff right over here. Yo, there's eyes. Bro, there's eyes. Oh, it's an animal of some sort. Yo. There's something on this bench. Dude, this is... I knew I heard something over there, too. What is this? It's like a definitely girls, girls hat and gloves. Yo, in a phone. Whoa, 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 dude! This is warm. Seems like the phone might be dead. But, yeah, the hat, the hat's warm. Bro, this hat is warm, dude. It's not where the phone was, it's, hello? Is there anyone out here? Whoever was wearing this can't be far. Hey, if, if, if there's somebody here, I'm, I'm not here to hurt you. I just wanna make sure you're all right. I just found your stuff and I just... Oh, oh me, that's it. There's a bathroom over there. Maybe they're in there. I, it makes me feel weird, like going to uh, going to open the bathroom <laughs> and see if they're in there. Hey, if you're if you're in the restroom, I just want to let you know I, I found your stuff. I just want to make sure you're all right. If you're all right, let me just say anything. Just let me know that you're fine. I'll leave. You don't have to come out. I'll leave right now. Dude, I, I don't like this, man. I don't like this one bit. I think I should call the cops. This is sketchy. I found this stuff. I mean, you know, if it's, if it's a woman out here by herself, you know, at this time of night, quite possibly, you know, taking a stroll and some guy just pulls up, parks outside the gate. I mean, I could see how that could raise, you know, multiple red flags. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Because if, what if she's in trouble? Like, obviously this was put there right now. If they're in the bathroom, like, I, I get it. Because, like, you know, uh... You know, I get it. Like, you, you don't want to set your stuff on the nasty bathroom floors in there. So, oh, man. All right, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go sit in my car. And I don't see her in five minutes. I'll probably go and knock on, knock on that, on that bathroom. If I don't get a response, if I don't see anybody, I'm probably going to call the cops. Is this, dude, this, like, honestly, this, that's not, that's not good, man. Like, it's somebody's, it's somebody's clothing. You know, it's their hat, gloves, and phone. Who doesn't go anywhere without their phone? 
and it was warm. Like they were just wearing it. They just set it down. I missed them by maybe a couple minutes because of how cold it is out here. There's no way that stuff would have gotten cold super quick. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Hey, if, if you can hear me, if you can hear me right now, again, don't be afraid. I'm going to go sit in my car. If I see you come out, I promise I will leave. I will not talk to you. I just want to make sure you're fine. And uh, you don't want to come out, I'm just going to let you know. And I'm not. This isn't a threat or anything. But I will call the police because I am worried about your safety. So I'm going to go sit in my car. Please just wave your hand or, or say something and, and I'll take off. I promise I won't even come out of the car, all right? I don't, dude, I don't know what else I can do. Because like I said, if somebody's out here hiking by themselves, like, and I pulled up like how I did, you know, I'd, I'd be freaked out too. All right, we're just going to go sit in there, see if, you know, anybody comes or not. All right, guys, it's been a few minutes. The stuff's still over there. I haven't seen anything. Porta potty. <laughs> See if anybody's in there. And uh, if not, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll just call the police. Hello. I know this is really weird. Okay, if you're in there, I know this is really weird. Still really weird. If there's nobody in here, I'm talking to myself. I just want to let you know. I don't mean you any harm. I just want to make sure you're fine. Is there anybody in here? You can say anything and I'll, I'll leave right now, I promise. All right, I'm gonna open the door, so if you're in there, let me know right now, and I won't. Okay. Hello? What? It's been about 15 minutes. I'm literally still rattled about that. It just doesn't... <sighs> Who is this person? You, like, dude, that... That literally is like one of the scariest things I've seen on Randonautica. You know, because we've, we've dealt with stalkers plenty. You guys know this. A lot of a lot of people who do ran and can have, but what throws me through a loop, and it's just I don't know. Um, what throws me through a loop is there was somebody is when I pulled up, and this isn't even about me right now. When I pulled up, there was somebody's articles of clothing and a phone sitting on that table. So either we have a few options. That was some elaborate thing to set up by that stalker to, as funny as it sounds, lure me into the bathroom. Um, it was somebody who was walking and left their stuff there, maybe saw the stalker, ran away, you know, way before I, not way before, but a couple minutes before I was there. Um, it was the stalker stuff, and the stalker carries a sledgehammer along with a bunny tail hat and nice, uh, lush gloves. Um, yeah, it's just, or, you know, it's one of the stalker's victims, like, I don't know, I don't know, that's... And this is, this is definitely a stalker that we've not seen before. I've never seen that mask before. And just the way they were was just really, really weird. Like, that was a straight up, like, ambush setting. I mean, if I didn't slam the door in their face, I, I don't know. I don't know if they would have tried to hit me. 
I mean, I'm sure they would have tried to hit me with that, but yeah, it was, it was just not, it was just not a good situation. Guys, let me know right right now in the comments. Like, what do you think that was? Do you think that was a different stalker, or do you think it was like something else, or somebody else entirely? Like, let me know. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Um, I don't know, but all right. You know what? I am going to call the cops. I'm going to call the cops. Let them know what's o like what's over there. I'm not too far away. Still in the same county, at least. Um, I'm going to call the cops, let them know what's over there, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I just got off the phone. That's one nice thing about this car is I got cameras everywhere. And I thought I just heard something behind me, like brakes. I'm able to just pop on the cameras and see if there's anybody behind me. And there's not. I'm just being paranoid now. Um, so I called the cops and they just said, you know, we'll go check it out. And that's about it. But knowing those stalkers, once they get there, you know, nothing's going to be there. I didn't, and I didn't say anything. I said there was like, what I told them was I found some clothes on the table and there was somebody in the restroom. So be careful. Um, and understandably, you know, they, they understood the context, you know, at this type of night, you know, it's probably weird, but they're like, it's probably a homeless person, we'll check it out. So, I don't know. So yeah, knowing, knowing those stalkers, like, they're, they're long gone by now, they don't wait around. They set up, they scare you, and then they're out, so... I don't know, dude. It was this tonight was something else. I was not expecting this tonight. I mean, I'm always now I'm always like expecting some sort of stalkers, but I never, you know, I, I always expect to see the same ones. And now it's somebody I've never seen before. I don't know what to think of it. Let me do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, though, for real. Like, two heads is better than one. So let me think. You, know, you guys were dropping great, great theories on the last video. Keep that up. Keep that same energy for this one because I need help figuring this out. What? What do they? What? Like, who are they? What do they want? And it's crazy that they came off this aggressive right off the bat. All the other stalkers we've seen and dealt with. They've never been this aggressive just like that. Just like out of nowhere. Just like, bam. Um, so yeah, that's that's another thing that's really weird. But alright guys, uh, that's it for tonight. I am going to head home uh, right now. Uh, guys, thank you very much for your support. Big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. You guys made tonight's video possible. Um... Make sure to check out all our social media. Links are in the description below. And uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please check out our YouTube channel memberships and our Patreon. There is some special perks that I've added for the YouTube channel membership. So if you'd like to join the time, there's no better time than now. Um, other than that, that's honestly like, usually I sit here and talk to you guys for a while, but not tonight. Dude, I, I am just like, usually I can like, calm myself down, you know, whatever, you know, loosen myself up after an encounter like this, but tonight, dude, I'm just, I don't know what it was, that just, like, tripped something in me, and I'm paranoid, I just want to get home, so, alright guys, uh, have a good night or day, wherever you're at, I look forward to seeing what you think about the situation, and, uh, I'll see you on the next video, peace out.